Well, I hope you're sitting down. This is going to take a while. Thanks for watching. It's Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions, and it's another video walkthrough. It's the middle of a beautiful summer. Today was a gorgeous day, and we were stuck inside all day doing the last uh, last minute details for the sale. It's only a couple of days till viewing. As as usual, we're last minute. The sale is Monday, July 28th, and Tuesday, July 29th. I made myself cheat notes. I hired a personal assistant. Uh, a couple of days ago and I figured that one of the things that she could do is to have cue cards for me and her first order of business was to give herself two weeks off so I don't know if that's a sign of things to come but we'll see. Viewing is Friday so it's only a couple of days away from, from filming right now. The 25th from 4 until 8 o'clock and it's a two-day sale so it's the first time we've had a two-day sale in a long time. We ended up with 830 lots or something like that. I'm not sure who to blame for that, but it's going to be a bit of a grinder, uh, but a lot of fun stuff to to have. This one here is kind of funny because I'd never seen one before in my life, and then we had a, kind of its sister in the last sale, but without the top. You're going to want to pay close attention to this one with this original glass. Each one of these panes is original, and all the flaws are in there to, uh, to give it all that character. It's a gorgeous bureau, but you open it up, it does need just a little bit of TLC, but not much, just a very small tune-up. And then you open it up and you've got a desk, fitted interior, and uh, just a really wonderful piece. So it's almost a sister to one we had in the last sale, but it was missing the top. Little multi-drawer organizer, anybody who collects Dewey Decimals. <laughs> Old joke. Lapis globe. This one here is a globe that's uh, the palm of the hand is holding up the, the, the globe, so kind of neat. Primitives in the sale, lots of prints. This is a big cabinet that was in the last sale. I said it was really heavy, and the person bought it, and then said, hey, it's too heavy to take home. So when you buy it this time, take it home. Uh, but it is a good multi-use cabinet. I mean, it's strong enough you can make a gun safe out of it. There's a, uh, some really neat lamps. This is one of them, and you're going to want to pay close attention as we go through the room. It's, they're, they're more of a modern set of lamps or a collection of lamps from a, from a very, uh, the whole clay, everything that came out of the house, be it furniture, uh, collectibles, decor items, lamps, all very expensive retail items. So pay close attention. It's a good opportunity to get some, some good retail $1,000 lamps, $1,500 lamps at auction price. Wardrobe here comes apart so you can move it uh, into three pieces or four pieces or whatever it is. And off camera, you can't see, you can see the back of them. These are matching low boy and mirror dresser that match this, this wardrobe. So a nice set there. There's not one, not two, but about a hundred mirrors in the sale for some reason. Some of them came out of that same home with all the, the more modern, expensive pieces. And there's, then there's some vintage pieces as well. So lots of stuff there. Again, here off camera is a set of four Dutch parlor chairs, really heavy. Oh, there's five of them. This is one of them right here. Um, again, modern pieces, semi-modern, lots of mirrors, chintz and company upholstered sofa and, and stool. They're very, very expensive to, to when it was bought new and it's, and it's like it's cream and it's unused, virtually unused. And again, more modern pieces. So there's, you know, it's, it's an antiques estate sale and a lot of times it's almost all antiques. Sometimes it's all more modern. There's, there's a lot of modern stuff in this sale, as well as the antiques, and, and all of it, the quality is just, it just speaks for itself, it's just unbelievable. This is not attached right now, so do be careful, but this does attach to this bottom, so the gramophone attaches to the bottom, there's record storage in the bottom. Um, I, I unscrewed it to take it out of the house, and then just left it that way, because it's a little top heavy when you go to move it, um, so it's just easier if we do it that way. But it's a great little gramophone. There's a few records in the bottom, and I think there's a selection of needles inside there as well. It presents well, it sounds great. Yeah, must have, is what I'm saying, yeah, must have. Some more mirrors back there. This particular lamp, as I mentioned, had a tag on it, I think, of $1,200, so we're talking about really nice quality modern pieces. And, uh, and then there's some stuff off camera you can't see, including me at the moment. And here's a Canadian address there. There's stuff underneath the camera that you can't see, but there's everything from credenzas, office pieces, to servers, to quality modern chairs. Some of the modern chairs or are modern furniture are actually antique style, if you will, but new. Uh, there's some American Beauty China tableware here, a neat tea set. Trestle style table with chairs in, in original finish, English oak. Welsh dresser, we don't see very many of an actual genuine Welsh dresser, and this one's got original finish, albeit it needs a little bit of, 
uh, extra oil on it or something to, to tidy it up, but it's got just enough character to be good. I would leave that one as far as refinishing goes. Again, now I've disappeared. <laughs> this is, I mean, it's not really a Walsh dresser, but not unlike one. And it's modern. This is a newer piece. Again, high end. It does have the little strip here for putting your, your collector plates and, well, collector plates are not really the thing, but proper antique plates would be the, the thing to have. Off camera is a really neat leather wrapped box with fur, fur lining. I think it's a six panel, one, two, three, four, five, six panel oriental screen here with bird motif and so on. Very nice as well. Lots of oriental pots or uh, semi-modern ones in the, in the sale. Off camera down here, a little hard to see. Slate and tile top wash stand, a little vintage desk. Regency style dining set, this is a, a drop leaf, mahogany. There's two insert leaves as well. So it grows to be quite a, quite a large piece if you want it to be. Plus it would also fold down into that and be almost uh, almost invisible. Nice little roll top vest. There's some nice clocks in the sale you see, saw behind me as we were walking along. This is gorgeous, American black walnut, drop leaf, little desk. The two drawer desk, the key is sitting right there. There's even a like clapping hands paper clip on it. It's a monster. Off camera here is a, a vintage perambulator. Vintage office desk. You saw this, we passed this one one time before. We don't pass very many items, but this one did get passed. This is the, the Pullman brand rollover sofa. Uh, it's a sofa hide a bed. There's no mattress in it. Uh, quarter cut oak, empire style. It does actually come apart, and I mentioned it last time, I'm pretty sure. Two bolts on this side, two bolts on the other side from the back, and this side, the back, the bottom, and that side become completely independent in a matter of 15 seconds, well, not 15 seconds, but certainly no more than a minute and a half. And then it's so much easier to get in and out of your home. There's a, a, a brass bronze lamp in front of me here that you probably can't quite see. And again, you're talking about expensive new pieces that you go into a store and pay a lot of money, hundreds and hundreds and over a thousand dollars for just that one lamp. This is a vintage piece, of course, lead panels, uh, English oak, and then down here you've got pieces that go in with the antiques very well, but they're new. And this is a very high-end quality piece, brand names in there, and it's got, a, it's got like a bone cabinet, if you will. There's some soapstones up top here, and very, very nice pieces uh, in, in the newer, but they go in well if you're into the antique thing. This is a really neat piece. Hollow body, Gibson, electric. It is a Barney Cassell edition, which was a, a edition that they put out. I would play something for you, but I actually don't know how. I can play the stereo reasonably well. But it's a really neat piece there. And there's a little newspaper clipping that comes with it of when Barney Cassell was in Edmonton in, in 1976, I think it is. So really a great piece there. Coming through here, of course, you're used to seeing our, our carpets. There's everything from 100% from wool Iranian pieces to silk to a couple of pieces that are just uh, polyester, you know, but decent looking. There's some small throw rugs, etc. Not everything that's hanging on the rack is in the sale. So if you see a lot number, Got our name on it, it says lot number whatever, it's in the sale. A couple other pieces will be for the next sale, so uh, just to give you a little bit of planning. Quarter cut oak, again, trestle style table here, not unlike the one that we saw back there and out of a different home. It's funny how you get two, two very similar at the same time. Another quality lamp. This one here is a chest on chest, so it's, it's two pieces, you can move it in and out of your home nicely. All carved, every panel, every raised panel is carved. We've seen this sort of thing before. We see them in different qualities. This is this is as good a quality of carving uh, and put together and, and, and quality that you're going to find. The, the, the detail is terrific. Some of them are just sort of hacked together. They almost look like I did it. This one's really good, and it's got a genuine bullet hole right there, going through that, just underneath that trim, and pop that out and into that trim. I don't know whose DNA is on that bullet, but uh, I think we need to get Quincy involved and get that sorted out. Neat oriental cabin, this is on wheels. It flips, it top flips up. We might have to move these things off here so it can be demonstrated properly during the viewing. Into this cabinet, we have Burke's Regency plate down there. We've got trench art. We've got Moorcroft, soapstones, cast banks, 
neat porcelains down at the end there. A big turtle. I don't know what that turtle is, but that definitely catches the eye. Up on the top, this is just a sampling we took out of the tall cabinet you're going to see. These are our Pandora style beads. These are new. And there's quite a few displays of them, and there you'll see the other ones later on. Here's some of the bracelets that go along with them, and rings, and, and charms, and whatever. And there's even watches. So here's a sample. So you get it like that. And then here's a sample where you can put the beads on, the Pandora style beads. So that's kind of fun. And there's quite a, quite a selection of that in the sale, along with a lot of other things. The gun sale is another thing that we have to talk about, the firearm sale, sorry. It is on August 16th, and you're looking at about 870 lots. Not all firearms, of course, but there's a huge selection of firearms in that sale. And there is 50, 60, 70 compound bows, probably 40 or 50 of which are brand spanking new, never been used. Uh, so have a good close look at that if that's your thing, or if you know somebody who's that's, that's their thing, make sure you point them at the website. Everything is on the website already, wardsauctions.com. And also about 3,000 arrows, brand spanking new arrows, are in that sale as well. And then of course a great selection of firearms, everything from new to, to, to collector pieces, older pieces. There's a lever action collection from one gentleman that is virtually unused. Some of them probably are unused and, and, and they're really nice pieces. So definitely a bunch of money that I'm going to be spending there. And um, so I need you to come to this sale and spend money so that I have money to go to the gun sale, so or to spend at the gun sale. Here's another good genuine antique piece, probably in a fumed finish, and it's carvings all over the place. There's initials here, or there's uh, letters anyhow. It uh, looks like HLK. There's uh, wilderness scenes here. There's animals. This says 1910. This has obviously got to be George and the Dragon in this panel here in the center door. The drawer's got more carving on all around the whole skirt, not really skirt, but uh, crown up here is all carved, barley twist bottom. Very interesting piece. You're going to want to pay close attention to that. More of the beads that we talked about in here and some more Dalton Lambeth and some other porcelain pieces in here. So you're going to want to pay close attention to that. You're also going to want to pay close, well not, you're going to want to pay close attention to everything in the sale, from what, it, what it sounds like. This one here, you might have already seen the video that Peter did on our on the blog and this is a this is a Danish table that's mechanical and you can open it up give it a couple of twists I guess I should have had the chairs just a little bit further away and then you push down on the leaves ease that up go like so close it up and you've now got not a oblong not a weird shape you've got it's you know virtually a weird circle I guess but you've just expanded it out and your leaves are tucked away when you're not using them and it's a really really neat piece and the quality is unbelievable as soon as you touch it as soon as you see it you're going to understand and there are two four six chairs to go with it more modern pieces down here these are you know the, again the modern pieces that came out of uh, the same home as some of the other furniture but really neat there's an hourglass but it makes a really good coffee or end table. I've been using it actually down there and uh, in our temporary living room that we always have one of, but it's not, really, it's not really an hour. It's more like about 40 or 45 minutes or so. But that's okay. There is, this doll right here is in this sale, a Schoenau and Hofmeister, if I, if I pronounce that properly, that's in this sale. And that's gonna give you a small taste of what's coming up in September. I'm gonna go back to my cue cards here. On September 27th is the same weekend as the Edmonton Doll Club will be having their show. Their show is on the, on the 28th, which is a Sunday, right here in Edmonton. We'll be having a, a doll auction. There's dolls and teddy bears and there's uh, accessories, be it uh, sewing machines, you know, doll or child sewing machines and so on. There's going to be even some Barbie stuff to, you know, in, in smaller, not, not necessarily a number one Barbie or so on, but some stuff that'll be in smaller group lots, but then there's also going to be things like Jamo's and Kessler, Salmon Halbig, uh, early plastic. We got Stife Bears, collection of Stife Bears. There's toys, sewing machines, etc. And then, and again, watch the website. There'll be information on that fairly soon. As soon as we get done this sale, between this sale and the firearm sale, we'll have time to actually catalog and get some photographing done and so on. So that's going to be really neat. And that's on September 27th. The sale we're talking about right now, of course, is on September, or sorry, on July 28th and 29th, starting at 6. I'm going to leave my cheat notes right there. 
back to that sale. So this is actually two of the pieces that are in the doll sale. That's why we have those there. Uh, we have got a nice Wurlitzer. The the gentleman that that you know was sort of the the benefactor of it had passed, and his wife um, you know had it moved, and it doesn't. It's not working for us right now. It's probably one of those things that somebody who's into it could get it working quite easily. Here is a really neat piece. I collect boxes, so if, again, if you're buying something for me, this is a nice writing slope. Beautiful finish. All opens up like so. There's probably more hidden compartments and so on, and who knows? It could be love letters from queens and who knows what else in there, but really nice piece. So if you want to buy me a treat, that's the one to buy me. Because as much as I'm going to spend a small fortune at the gun sale, I probably won't spend a lot of money at the doll sale. So there's a kind of a balance. Jane, of course, will probably have a whole bunch of stuff that she's going to want to buy. I'm not an expert on dolls by any means, but Jane is, and she's active in the club and so on, so she's quite looking forward to getting into those boxes. It'll be 600 lots if it's one, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Here's some more modern little console or sofa table, antique or semi-antique bureau. Again, a great, same house, the quality lamp. This is just bronze and a brass attached birds on there. It really is, you have to pay close attention to that. There's a few things inside this cabinet that are like this center, this layer here with the machetes and so on, that's this sale. The porcelain's up top, including that Ladro gondola, which is gave big, is in the next, or in October, sorry, Thanksgiving Day. And then so is the stuff on the bottom. So even Thanksgiving Day auction, which I think is the 13th of October, is probably half in the bag. Um, that's going to be a fun sale. Through here, I want you to, there's a banjo down here. We're not going to focus on that right now, but there is some fun stuff. There's some fun copper and brass pots. But look at this dining room suite. There's 12 chairs. Never mind 12 piece suite. This has got 12 chairs plus a big sideboard, curved doors, curved drawers, carving at the bottom, keys are there, etc. Big draw leaves. So these draw leaves are about two feet, but they're pretty, pretty big. So this table will go way out. 12 chairs, and then there's a server down there to match. So you're getting 12, 13, 14, 15 pieces right here. There's actually another court cupboard or sideboard, if you will, that matches it that we're gonna sell as a separate lot. So if you have room, I mean obviously where it came from it had room. If you have room, there's a, a heck of a suite you can put together. There is some nice artwork. There's Crane Thomas down here. As we go through the whole room, there's, there's all kinds of fun stuff. So you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to that too. Obviously all the pictures, ind independent pictures are on the website. Barley Twist Oak Coat Tree. Down here, oil lamps and so on. This is the sideboard I mentioned that matches the, the, the uh, dining room suite. Look at the size of this soapstone. It's as tall as I am. Uh, big, it's got a face on this side and then the full figure on this side hauling. And so this is obviously his prey back here. So that's a neat piece. I have looked around, you know, at length or a little bit at length anyhow for a signature. It seems quality enough that I'm really surprised it doesn't have one, but so far I have not been able to find one. But it could be hidden in there somewhere. So we'll pick, you know, you can come and watch. That's what the viewing is for, four till eight o'clock on the Friday, the 25th. Some stuff off camera that included things like uh, mid-century modern teak dining chairs and so on. There's some oriental cabinets along this side. More Crane Thomas here, a Weber print, and a limited edition piece there on the, on the uh, wood cut or the, the cut. In here in the Sterling cabinet, as we normally have, there is some, those neat little plates that are on a plate rack, those are actually little sterling silver pieces. There's a mirror set. Little flags of the, of the provinces of Alberta or of uh, Canada are all in there. Those are all sterling. These little bits here, there's a nutmeg grinder, or not grinder, but great grater down there. Some other little boxes. All sterling in there. Two sets of sterling flatware. There's one there and there's one there. Come and have a look at those ones. We're gonna go into the back room. There's lots of stuff in there as well. There's tools, lots and lots of tools in this sale. A little bit of everything, small tools, planes and so on. There's routers and in the table, there's sanders, there's more sanders, there's a couple of lawnmowers at least. There's, and you know, newer stuff. You know, we don't wanna have crap in the sale. We just got the, some of the nicer stuff for you. Little compressor, here's a motorcycle lift or an ATV lift you can use it for. Two drill presses, there's one that goes on the tabletop, one that's a floor model, band saws, Morse chopper, table saw, uh, dust collector, really, really high-end, um, what do you call this, exercise, treadmill, organizing covers in here, which are fantastic for workshops. There's transits, we won't go down this aisle, but there's all kinds of stuff from ships and bottles to porcelains to lamps to 
um, crystal, radios, it goes on and on and on. Down here, again, more smalls. Just off camera, you just missed a lathe, a wood lathe. And uh, down here, we've got Royal Albert, we've got Petty, for uh, Old Country Roses is Petty Point. There's Crystal again, uh, quality crystal lamp here, crystal or quality table lamps as well. Up there, there's, there's clocks, there's again more Royal Albert China, there's Rouge Royale. It goes on and on there, more artwork along this wall. Some fun stuff, here's just a bunch of sports stuff, Gretzky, he used to be a hockey player, a bunch of stuff in there, license plates. Um, another lawnmower, oddly enough. Decor blunderbuss. Another selection of Royal Dalton figurines, Royal Dalton Toby and character jugs, um, uh, what do you call them, gobels and so on. This is a gobel dog. Uh, you can see the size of it in reference to the other ones. I've never seen one like that. Mariage vase, perfume bottles. There's a selection of coins here and tokens and so on. That's kind of a fun little lot. Actually, I haven't seen this one before. Um, all these are these are one lot at a time. So there's a lot. Oh, these are the love tokens. We've had love tokens in the in the past. This is more from the same consigner, and they're all all one lot there. So love tokens, love tokens, love tokens. That's kind of fun. In the jewelry, everything from a sixteen thousand dollar diamond ring, Sherman. This is one lot. There's about thirty or forty lots in the sale. There's a selection of rings and bracelets and so on to suit every taste and budget. There's the Omega stopwatch, wristwatch, uh, quite a nice piece. Watch the catalog for the descriptions on that. There is of course the, the appraisals. We always have the appraisals. People forget them behind sometimes. You can see the cabinet is filled. There's lots of Sherman at the bottom, pearls, pocket watches, sterling silver, affordable pieces with semi-precious stones. Um, the gold cross, etc. There's more jewelry down in here. You come to the viewing, there's lots of stuff for you to look at. There's more tools and so on over here. We don't normally show you this section, but we want you to pay close attention, not so much to the miscellaneous lots here, but to there's a big selection of ham radio gear. So, again, not exactly my forte. We've listed it out quite nicely in the catalog so you can read through them. Some of them have owner's manuals, manuals as you can see, or operator's manuals. There's pictures on the website, there's descriptions on the website, so if you're at all interested or if you know somebody, make sure that they know. There's more tools and organizers and stuff on this side. Down at the end here is the leftover, and so there's some in the other room right there, is the leftovers from the ill-fated online LP sale that um, turned out to be a little less than stellar, but these are the leftovers, and you're looking at 50, 60, 70 pieces in a box now, and they're going to be sold by the box. These descriptions are online, you can see them on the website, and this shows what's in this box, this shows what's in this box, etc. All from one collector, really nice guy, collected them all through the 70s, early 80s, etc. And really virtually, some of them probably had never got played, but even the ones that did were one or two or three times sort of a thing. So um, all, the, all the information is there. Now they're going to be sold as a box lot, and that's it. Not, uh, end of story. And so and there's two boxes in the sale that are not from his collection, and it'll be obvious because it's, it's not in alphabetical order, and you can, if in doubt, you can ask. We're so full, we're even into the packing area, and uh, we'll just sort of wrap up with this, again, mid-century modern chrome and leatherette button-tufted sofa in surprisingly good condition. It needs a bit of a cleaning. And uh, so remember, we got all kinds of stuff going on. It's been a heck of a summer. Not only do I have some, some pending sales in the real estate end, uh, just sold an acreage that, fingers crossed, will close, I think, tomorrow or the next day. Um, hopefully that'll work out. We just listed an, an empty lot at Lac St. Anne. Check out the website for that. It's 20 acres, it's under 100,000, it's fantastic. It's only 10 minutes from the actual town of Alberta Beach or from Jungles Bar, depending on your, on your uh, preference. In my case, Jungles Bar. The, uh, the, the, the firearm sale is coming up on August 16th. Watch the website, 872 lots in that one. It's a huge sale, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The doll sale coming up, September, the weekend of September 27th. I will, we'll be on the Saturday. The doll show in Edmonton will be on the Sunday, so it's going to be a good destination for all the doll people. The Thanksgiving Day sale is half in the bag. That's going to be a fun one, too. That's our annual shindig. And then, of course, this one that we just walked through, which is this weekend coming up, Friday the 25th of July, 
2014 is the viewing, 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock. Monday we, st we open up at 4, start selling at 6, that's on the 28th. And then 29th on the Tuesday we again open up at 4 o'clock, start selling at 6. The first day we sell a lot, 1 to, 1 to 400, 1 to 399. And then the second day we, we start at 400 and, and, go to eight, and go to 800. Wardsauctions.com is the website if you're not already on it. And thanks for watching and we'll see you at the sale.